Hello everyone, this is Gem Pilot Gemini 33 here, coming at you with a Gemini Jets review. Uh, this is the Continental Boeing 757-300. Um, in case you are wondering, I will be using this plane in my model airport updates because I will be claiming that United decided to have a retro jet for Continental in, in their memory. And so yeah, let's get started. Um, as you can see, the engines are missing, some of the landing gear is missing, but because this is an older plane, um, I got this with the St. Martin. Um, uh, set. Um, it came with the Air Transit Airbus A330, which is broken. Uh, the BWIA Boeing 737-400. I don't even know where that went. I think I gave it to one of my friends. And all that's left is the Continental Boeing 753. But don't you worry, we'll be getting another tra Air Transit Boeing A3 Airbus A330-300 in the newer colors, um, in courtesy of Aero Classics. So yeah, guys, let's get started with this um, diamond in the rough. There's no box because I threw away the boxes. I'm not even sure if the St. Martin set even had a box. So yeah, on the nose we do have visible windshield wipers, and we've got the gold and we've got the gold stripe that goes all the way down the aircraft. It starts on the nose as well as the gray, as well as the gray stripe. Uh, win uh, here we have the cockpit windows. No anti glare, unlike my other plane that survived the DHL Boeing 757-200. Um, here we have the two, here we have, um, here we have the doors, I believe this is, um, right one, right two. Um, here we have Continental. Um, we go down the gold and gray stripes, keep going. Until we get to the American flag and the registration. Um, the 753 is one of my favorite airplanes, um, besides the A321 and the Airbus A340-600. In the case, and the Boeing 777-300. And in case you didn't find anything in common with them, they're all pretty long. I really like long planes because they just look like real stylish. I really like the 753 with winglets, however, that's my favorite, so this guy isn't really on my bucket list for favorites. Uh, I believe the registration here is N17128. Uh, that's N7, N17128. N17, so here we have the Continental Tail, the Global, the Globe. That is that has remained on the new United livery after they went bankrupt back in two thousand nine, I believe two thousand nine or ten. Uh, here we have the elevators. Over top we have our we have what's supposed to be antennas, I believe, which are those black dots. We have the beacon as we go down, and yes, this is a long aircraft compared to its predecessor. The no predecessor it's compared to its sibling, the three two hundred. It's a bit longer. I don't really see a difference between the two. However, the, with the winglets, it's much different. As you can see, it's a little bit longer, so that makes more room for people, for peoples. And so yeah, um, over here we've got where the engines are supposed to be, but they came off because this plane is an oldie. So we go on the underbelly. We have a bit of silver right here, which is really nice. Uh, the landing gear, which was which does not roll. And the limited edition Gemini Jets logo with the displaced down hole. And also we've got some more silver lining down here. And the gray continues on the bottom as well. So on every review I'm going to start putting them on the stands to see if they work. Take off position. Okay, fine, landing position will do this time. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this review. Um, trivia question for this video. Um, are you happy or sad about the United and Continental merger? Um, I was pretty... I don't really care because I wasn't really much of a United nor Continental fam, fam, fan. However, I do like the... I do like um, United now. Um, so I think I like the merger. However, we did lose a classical airline with Continental. Um, so yeah, I was really... I, was re I wasn't really a big fan of the Northwest Delta merger. Uh, because Delta, Northwest was my favorite airline, and then I couldn't stop crying when I heard that Northwest was going bankrupt. So, yeah, that was a sort of sad time in my life. The two th the two thousands, whereas the first decade of the two thousands wasn't really a good time for me because I lost some favorite airlines. However, in uh, the two thousand tens, the only major airline I've we've lost that I don't that I actually sort of care about is Cypress Airways. Um, I sort of liked how they did nonstop flights out of La Narca, uh, Cyprus, and I don't really know if there's any other charter airlines that do nonstop flights out of Cyprus, so, 
Yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my other videos, which are the Ubana International Airport update that's coming out Sunday, and my um, Gemini Jets plane reviews, which are coming out Saturday. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye bye.